Hello everybody! Today I would like to show you an easy way to uh, align objects to a surface. Before I start with this we must uh, talk a little bit about the origin of an object. So I add a cylinder, shift A, and a cylinder F9 and make this 16 sides. Then I scale it uh, By the way, if I select all these numbers, I can scale everything like it is possible in Modo. I want it 0.2 and this one 0.4. Okay, now watch this little yellow point inside the 3D cursor. Uh, if I grab this object and grab it on uh, X, control, bring to here, then you see this yellow dot has moved with the object. This is only in object mode. If you do the same in uh, edit mode, grab set, then you see this yellow dot stays where it was. This can be used to our advantage sometimes, but I think it's quite important that we know about this. Okay, now let's go back to object mode. If you for some reason need to have this origin on the bottom here, for example, if you want to export an object to, uh, to uh, Unreal Engine or another uh, game engine, then you usually need the origin on the bottom of an object. To do this, you select the 3D cursor, click somewhere here, then Shift S and say Cursor to, so, uh, sorry, that's wrong, wrong way around. Con unfortunately, we cannot undo. So, Shift S. No, sorry, I was wrong. We go to Object, Set Origin to 3D Cursor. Like so. Now the origin is down here. If you need to have it exactly in the middle of a polygon or a face. For example, you go to edit mode, uh, select this face, then shift S and cursor to select it and it will snap exactly to the middle. Okay, but now let's see this here. I select everything grab it in Z and move this down a little bit and then shift S again, cursor to world origin and now our origin is here and we can go back to, uh, no, let me delete this face here. We actually don't need this on X delete. And now I go back to object mode and add an icosphere, shift A, icosphere with uh, one subdivision. Then I Tap to uh, edit mode, shift S again, cursor to world origin, and right click and say poke faces. 
I could do this the way I showed before, uh, but for me this is much easier. So I have now exactly in the middle of each of these faces I have a vertex. We can tap back to object mode. If I want to see uh, this I can say click here show wireframe and now we see um, the wireframe of this uh, of this object here. Okay, now we need to set some snapping options. The first is I want the orientation to be the normals, then the active element is the pivot point. This will be the active element. Then I enable snapping and then I snap to vertex, center and align rotation to target. Now we can uh, grab this object and left click, shift D Shift D, duplicate it, Shift D. Shift D, Shift D. This is, as you can see, a very quick way of doing it. You can also move your cursor and it will snap to the nearest vertex. Shift D, Shift D and one, two more. Shift D, Shift D and one more. Shift D. Okay. Now if you uh, don't like the additional edges we put in, you can tap to edit mode, select one of these vertices here, shift G, say amount of connecting edges, X and dissolve vertices and they are gone. Now I go back to object mode again, shift A, select, no, A to select everything, then Control J to join these objects into one single one, tap back to uh, edit mode and select edges and select sharp edges. Now we can Control B, bevel these with the shift key so we have nice control, just a little with two segments and a profile of one. Now I tap back to object mode. We don't need to see the geometry here. I right click and say shade smooth. If you think this is uh, too uh, edgy here, we can add uh, a subdivision surface modifier if we want to. So let's see how this looks with a, a matcap. This one here, this looks pretty awesome and it's very easily done. So thanks for watching. That's it for today. Take care and see you some other time. Bye bye.